greetings, friends and esteemed adventurers. Welcome to a new adventure into Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Um, I'm Dazzlier, and uh, I'm going to be commentating this adventure, obviously. Um, I haven't recorded in a while, and I think I'm going to try another caster, just because, again, I'm, I'm really bad at casters. We've kind of been over this. So I was kind of toying with a couple of different ideas. I thought Kabold might be kind of fun, but... I don't know, they're pretty frail, and I hate playing frail casters, that's annoying, which is which sucks, because I'm going to have to win a deep elf eventually. <laughs> but I thought I'd try a demigod today, and I had some ideas, I was like, oh, I could go like demigod fighter, or um, artificer, you know, something like that that would be no problem, but then I was like, oh man, I could go demigod conjurer, so that's what we're going to try, I think it's going to be terrible, but we'll see, demigods get really good int, so... Um, we can pretty well uh, branch into anything we want. Um, yeah, let's just keep Conj on and try to get some uh, try to get some power going. So pick up this whip, and we'll pick up these stones as well. There's nothing stopping us from uh, you know picking up a big weapon some heavy armor, etc. We do get two strength, um, per, or two of our whatever stat we pick per level up. So we could use that to our advantage. Uh, something I didn't do, I didn't talk about what demigods actually are. Uh, so we get plus 10% MP, which is really nice. Other than that, we're pretty well normal. Um, if we look at our aptitudes, we're minus one across the board except for zero in stealth and minus two in spell casting. So uh, Demigod's whole niche is, as the name kind of suggests, they cannot pick a god. So we are going to play Atheist through the whole game, which to me kind of means caster is probably one of the better ways to go. Um, and you just use whatever spells you find. But the caster gods aren't, I, I don't know, I feel like they're just super underwhelming. Like Sif's really good, obviously, for the books and the channel magic, but that's kind of it. And I I just hate Veh, honestly. I think Veh is such a dumb god. Um, so that scroll on the gold are... Uh, yeah, the scroll on the gold are in a vault. Uh, I think Veh is such a dumb god. You know, he like grants you a couple random spells and then gives you range on your conjurations, which is probably okay for us, but... I don't know. I feel like casters don't need too much god support. The spells themselves tend to do quite a bit. So We only have 14 HP. I don't really want to deal with an adder with 14 HP. So let's not. And now, the other thing kind of interesting about demigods is uh, they gain experience really slowly. They have a hidden minus two aptitude to experience gain. From what I've been told is that that only affects, oh my gosh, your XL, which, I mean, we're, as you can see, we're not even level 2 after Dungeon 1. Now, we did have a really empty Dungeon 1, but um, we're not even level 2 yet, and we're already at Dungeon, or at D2. So, I've been told that only affects XL, but I think that, I don't know, like, based on what I've done, I feel like there's no way that's true. Like, maybe I'm just completely wrong, but... I was trying to do a demigod, uh, I guess a demigod wanderer, and I started with a pretty good mace, uh, I'm sorry, a pretty good axe, and I was like, oh, I'll just go axes, that's totally fine, and by like D8, I only had level 10 axes. Now, I understand that's a minus one aptitude, but still, it just, it seems like, I don't know, I don't really know how all that works, I don't know how XL and, uh, like, a jackal gives X amount of experience, which is then affected by your aptitudes. So I don't know if like a minus two experience or experience gain aptitude affects like the total amount of experience you get, and thus affects like how much experience you get to your app or to your skills. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but we started at like 3.6 conj, and we're we've barely even gained a, a rank. And so it just feels like everything levels so slowly, and so that that makes Demigod really challenging. 
but we're gonna do our best. That's all we can do. I don't love the Conj start book, but it has some some moments. Uh, at level two, we get access to Searing Ray, which I actually do quite like. Um, you kind of have to sit and cast it, which is the downside. But it does quite good damage once it once its spell power kind of gets going. And I may end up killing that adder. Just because I want the experience. It, I would really not. I would really hate to go to D3 at level 2. God dang it. Yeah, we're going to have to. And I, I could, like, dip into level 2. I guess we'll dip into D2 just because an adder could be pretty rough right now. But Jesus. So could a. I guess we got. Oh. Yeah, we got magic map. A sewer could be pretty dangerous as well, or it could be a lot of, uh, remove curse, we'll put on our whip, or it could be a lot of danger. I guess we'll just try it, we can always leave. I'm taking this fairly slow, I only have 20 HP. See, that, crap. I just don't think I can handle, I mean, I guess we can try. Searing Ray may do it. Cause Searing Ray, oh Jesus. Searing Ray, also, that's a Hill Lord fighter. We can't fight that. Searing Ray also acts as a bolt spell. I guess let's let's get Searing Ray going. We'll just shoot it straight through. Like that. Except now we're out of mana against an adder. Okay. That's what I, I should have been I should have noticed that that, that was gonna get me killed. We might be dead, but Okay, let's think for a second. We can't run. We have a couple potions. Let's try one. Degeneration. Okay. Oh that'll work. Okay, so we did that. Let's go int. And then we're just gonna run away. Okay. We're gonna forget about the, the sewer, unfortunately. We we did hit level three. We don't have enough spell levels for anything. Which is okay. I don't really want to use Dazzling Spray anyway. All right, we'll go back and kill up or kill this adder. We really need the experience. It's also a hobgoblin. Oh, the adder's awake. Okay. Halfway to level four, that feels a little bit better. Not a whole lot better, but a little bit. We hear the rapid rusting of a distant drain. Okay, that means it's not gone yet. Wow, let's do it. Okay, the door opened and our adders went away. Killer. How are we doing on power? Okay. Basically nowhere. Um let's just come up here. Okay, we're dying to bats. Oh, joy. Okay, I can bite for up to 20. Okay, we're gonna X that off. <laughs> I'm, I'm highly tempted to just go for it. Um, 
let's read no let's not read G because if that's teleport we're dead um do we have ugh this blows how much health does it have 27 see I feel like the only reason I'm even tempted to try this is because Searing Ray is going to hit pretty hard, and Magic Dart can't miss. Oh, Jesus. We're dead. We did no damage to him. Um, we're in trouble. We're going to just have to try to walk away. I think there's a ghost waiting for me out here. Yeah, we're, we're almost certainly dead. Let's uh, let's read G. Okay, there's our teleport. And now we just need to live like three turns. Okay. Not a whole lot better, but we're still alive for the time being. I really would like to get out of line of sight of the adder. So let's try to do that. There we go. Okay. So we had to give up on our sewer. That's unfortunate. It's probably like the one sewer layout that our character can't do. We just don't have the damage output. Or the health. Feels bad, man. Alright, there's level 4. So we can uh, memorize IMB once we get one more spell level. I don't think I have any interest in trying to do anything. Yeah, this is like that crocodile on steroids. There's no way we're going to be able to kill that ghost, not with our current outfit. And I've tried a conjurer on this channel before. It was a draconian, and I died in spider to a ghost moth. So that was a, a learning opportunity. I understand that ghost moths are really scary, uh, or ghost moths are really scary for casters. So I won't make that mistake again. Um, but yeah, cons, I don't know. People really like it. I find it to be pretty difficult. It used to, it definitely used to be better when you could get Battle Sphere in the starting book. Um, that doesn't exist anymore, unfortunately. I'm gonna go walk into this teleport trap. Because we've explored almost the entire level, and uh, that ghost is just gonna fuck me up. Yeah, back when you had Battle Sphere, the, the conch start was a lot stronger. But. That's okay. Um, let's attack Natasha at full range. There we go. There's our crocodile friend. We don't have, yeah. Even if even if we had the spell levels, force lance isn't even close to castable. Okay. I want nothing to do with that. We're gonna leave him here. And then we'll go down to D4. Oh God. All right, he can hit me for 37. He only has 27 HP though. Mm, no, we we want we want more health. He can one shot me. Amazing. We're just going to have to kite this knoll for a while until we get some health back. And we got him. Okay. 
So we gained a level, we got another rank in Conjuration, which get which since we got a level, we also got another spell level, which is excellent. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get IMB. Mm, that Noel has a mace. Let's just try to blow him up. Alright, cool. Or a flail, rather. Okay. Oh, we're at max range again. Let's try it. There we go. Cool. And in general, the more things we can kill, the better. Just because we need, we really need the experience. Let's go pick up this net. Thank you, Mr. Knoll. That's just another tool in our toolbox. Okay, we found our first Orc Priest. And it's got a Dagger of Holy Wrath, which we don't care about that. So we can be three shot currently. So I think what I want to do, I could just run, but I don't think I really need to. I think this should be okay. He, has only, he only has 15 HP. So if we come back here, and then Searing Ray while he walks through this, yeah, while he walks through that hallway, we've got him. Okay, now we're in trouble. Okay, he can't uh, confuse us. We're good. We're a lot less good. And he has a dagger of a lek. Okay, so if we kill the jackal, that orc is definitely going to kill us. So we need to come up with another plan. Let's try a potion. Okay, that was haste. I think we're dead anyway, but... Okay, we need to think for a second. Is there anything I can do this turn to maximize my chance of survival? Try a potion, hope I get heal wounds. I don't have enough mana to magic dart him. We're also moving at one, which means the jackal's gonna hit us no matter what. Okay, I think we need a potion. Resistance, okay. Okay, I can't move out of his line of sight this turn. Let's try another potion. Uh, that was cancellation. So we just canceled our haste and our slow. Still no mana. That was curing. Okay, so we have some more health to work with. We're not out of the woods, but we're doing better. We're out of the woods. For now. Wow. Wow. So we ended up using a lot of resources, like, in an absolute sense, but the only useful one, I mean, I guess we did, we, we learned about our potions, so that's useful. We did end up using a, a cancellation and a resistance and a haste, which sucks, because we, even though we didn't waste them, they kind of were wasted, right? Because we didn't really get the beneficial effects of them. They were mostly just as a, please help, I'm dying. Okay, that's another ogre. It can't be one shot anymore. I wonder. Do we have enough mana for three, for two IMBs? Okay, but if one of them miscasts, then we're gonna be running from an ogre. Let's not do that. Let's uh. Let's yell. Okay. Um, we can hit him with some magic darts, and then we can ray from here. We've got him. Okay, cool. Because those are worth so much experience. And then out of here, I actually really like both Force Lands and Fulminant. Okay, so this is that ogre or that orc with a dagger of a lek, and I would like to take that dagger from him. 
Um, let's just go ahead and Searing Ray. His health is super low. Excellent. Okay, so now we have quite a good weapon. Another Ogre. And he's at max range. We've got this. All day. Okay, so we can take Ogres. Our Conjurations are starting to do some damage. That's really good. We'll pick up this dagger. Um, do we have Remove Curse? Just one. So I'd rather wait until we have some rings to try out before we try out that dagger. Oh, two Arc Priests. Very rarely um, am I comfortable seeing two Arc Priests at once. You gotta be pretty far in the game for me to feel okay with that. Okay, so we've got some leather armor as well as a cloak, so we have a little bit more AC. That's quite nice. Uh, Devessa and Doan. Um, I don't want to kill Doan first, though. So, yeah, I'd, I'd much rather kill Devessa first. That's a fairly easy fight. We just we need to make sure Devessa is the first one to die. Otherwise, she'll berserk and just kill us. And I have to think Magic Dart is at full power. It is. Searing Ray is almost there as well. Let's try I and B. Okay, so we just demolished that adder. Sweet. After that uh, really spookiness, I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, plus two robe is better than um, leather. Also crawl fashion. Um, or fashion crawl. That, uh, that robe looks absolutely sick on us. So we're going to go with that for sure. Uh, that was a ring. I'm going to go ahead and try that on as well as our new dagger. Just get an idea um, of what we've got to work with. A ring of ice and a plus three dagger. Okay, so we'll, we'll go ahead and use our elect dagger. I'm going to take off the ring of ice just because I'm going to run into like an orc wizard who has flame or throw flame or whatever and it's going to kill me because I'm going to forget that I have that ring on. We'll go ahead and just kill the Jackal with our dagger. Okay, so Doan and Devessa have woken up. Devessa is the only one who's seen us though, so we'll just back away a little bit. Pump some Searing Ray. Some more, and then we'll walk into this teleport trap to get away so we can heal up. Ooh, Devessa, or Devessa had a short sort of draining. Okay, so we're drained, but we can work with that. That's fine. What's our cons at? Let's take cons just to like nine. Actually, I think it might be there, but we're drained, so. And then we'll, let's go ahead and deal with this ogre, just because we know we can do it. Okay, so once he's standing on the gold, we can Searing Ray. Nice. Okay, so after that just horrendous start, or that one really bad spot, we've actually come out okay. We made it to D5. We're still alive. Oh man, a Randark plus three cloak with stealth. That's freaking awesome. Plus, again, fashion crawl. It looks so good. How are we doing? Okay, Conj is almost at 9, and then we can reevaluate. We'll probably go with some defense. Maybe even some stealth. We are we do have a uh, cloak with stealth on it. And we have a that's a zero aptitude, but we'll see. Uh, some gloves, I want that. I don't care that it's cursed. Uh, honestly, I'm I'm already feeling better about this character. I <laughs> thought for sure I was dead at that one point, and I was gonna be like, well. Who cares? The demigod Conj. It's a terrible character anyway. Um, but we didn't give up, and now I'm feeling pretty good about it. Okay. So, um, I kind of want to think for a second. Our AC and our EV is probably fine for where we are in the game. We could use some health. We can always use some health. But I actually think I'm going to go some stealth. Um, 
we'll just take it to like four. It's our best aptitude. We'd be fools not to train it at least some. Uh, so in a normal game, I would be highly tempted to try to get a stab here. Uh, the problem is I have no short blades training, very little stealth training, and he's immune to a lex. So our brand isn't going to do anything, and it's going to wake him up for sure. So I meant to X him off. Oh my gosh. Hit the wrong button. That's okay. Let's just try to Searing Ray. It's not... Oh, it wow, it did work. That Searing Ray destroyed him. That was sweet. Uh, Bullfrog Skeleton is faster than we are, so we'll just go ahead and take care of him. Okay, and I haven't been doing this, but let's make sure there's nothing else I want. There's nothing. Let's go up here. Do the same, make sure there's nothing I want on here. Let's pick up this Dagger of Holy Wrath. Um, I like doing that just because even though a Lek is amazing, if we run into a ghost or like a phantom or something like that, then I, I really I really like having Holy Wrath available. Um, we'll go back up D3. Okay, nothing. Back to D6. Hopefully we'll find a book soon. Um, okay. Um, I'm thinking that that orc wizard is going to have a priest coming with him. Come here. Okay, yeah, there's our priest friend. So let's come around here, and then we can make things walk into our ray. Wow. Um, there we go. Probably need to train some spell casting as well. Uh, get a little bit more mana to work with, because when you're a caster, mana kind of equals health. So let's do that. We'll take spell casting just to like three. It's minus two, so it's gonna take us a while to train that. But I, th I think we definitely need well both the spell levels and the increased mag or the increased mana or magic, I guess. So do we want full mana? I want force lance. I think our damage is good enough with searing ray and IMB, but force lance can knock things back, which I think is is absolutely worth having. Okay, so we'll go ahead and switch to our Dagger of Holy Wrath for uh, the Skeleton. Okay. The one really nice thing, as simple as spell as Magic Dart is, it is max range, which is just great. Okay, that's an Orc Warrior, and he's got a Morning Star. So that, that is just epic amounts of trouble. Uh, another rune dagger. We'll check that out. Do we have we have plenty of remove curse, right? Yeah. Ah, it's just another dagger of elect. I guess I thought if you knew if you'd found an elect dagger, the rest of the daggers you found, if they were elect, you would know, but it doesn't I guess it doesn't work like potions. Uh, we've already found teleport, so we're we're safe to read more scrolls. Uh, there's amnesia MO. Where's our ID? noise. That's a bummer. There's our ID. ID potions. Scroll, uh, potion of flight. I don't particularly care about. Heal wounds. I do care about that. That's a bit of a, of a get out of jail free. Okay. So that actually trained fairly quick. Let's take that up to four. We'll give it another level. Okay. We need to think about this for a second. 20 damage plus a dire flail. It's got 28 HP. Okay. What is that? 20 plus 13? So 33? Yeah, so he can hit us extremely hard. Um, let's, he didn't notice us. So let's try to leave it that way. We're going to have to kill him at some point, but I think that point is not now. OK, 
Okay. Ooh, we got three IDs. That's really nice. And I already like quaff ID'd all my potions. So what else do I? What else do I? Want? What else do we have to find? <laughs> um. Invis and Might would be really nice to find, but let's actually re or let's let's ID some scrolls. Fog, that's a good one. And blinking, nice. Okay, that was worth doing. There's another heal wounds. Okay. So as much as uh demigods are challenging, the game is rewarding our perseverance with a, a good bit of consumables. Uh, that's another ruined robe. Plus one magic resistance. I probably want that, even though it's minus one AC and it's minus like a thousand uh, fashion crawl. Okay, let's try Force Lance. There we go. Yeah, that works great. And I think. Let's see, I think Force Lands, I've never really used it a lot. Can knock targets up to four spaces back. It's also more likely to push heavier targets at higher power. Flying targets are more impacted. Targets that collide with a solid object, such as a wall, will take extra damage. Okay. Let's try that. Oh yeah. That's doing great damage. Okay, we, we're out of mana though, so we need to do some kiting. If we get random energy, we can heal wounds if we need to. But let's try to kite him to where he's standing by a wall, because now we have uh, enough mana to hit him back again. Bam! Nice! Okay, that worked out great. Um. Well, we got our we got the spell levels I really wanted, so let's go for some fighting. Actually, we can we can IMB into there. Oh no, we can't. Don't have the mana. This is this is hilarious. I'm actually enjoying this demigod. Anyway, um, I'm gonna call it there. That's episode one of Demigod Conjurer. Um, if you join me in the next one, we're going to just keep trying. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.